have we got a workout for you. So this is going to be for time. 50 alternating dumbbell snatches followed by 30 jump squats. 40 alternating dumbbell snatches followed by 30 V-ups. Then we have 30 alternating dumbbell snatches followed by 30 jump squats to 20 alternating dumbbell snatches to 30 V-ups and then 10 alternating dumbbell snatches with 30 jump squats and 30 V-ups. So you can see that the dumbbell snatches start to go down, but the V-ups and the jump squats uh, stay nice and consistent. So for these single arm snatches, you're gonna make sure that you're leaning forward without rounding your back, keep your core tight. You're going to pull that weight and to generate power, you are going to punch through the hips, shrug the shoulders and make sure you drop under the weight, use your legs to stand it up, but be sure to lock that arm up nice and tight. With the jump squats, you're going to keep your core nice and tight. Try not to lean too far forward. You're going to drop into a deep squat and then drive through with the heels, really making sure at the top that you just punch it up. So just really work on getting high with that. Um, with the V-ups, your upper body is going to come up and off the floor. It's going to meet uh, your toes. So you're literally folding. If you cannot do a V-up, then you can just do like a tuck up where you just bend your knees. So let us know how you did. Give us some love on social media or let us know if you're going to do this workout. And be sure to warm up and cool down.